In this video, we'll be seeing how to play a YouTube video inside your Android application. So if you go to YouTube documentation and check the YouTube Android player API, you can see it is depreciated and they are asking you to use the YouTube iframe API. So if you go to that, you can see it is for web. So what we have to do is let's go to a YouTube and let's select a YouTube video and we can click on share. Let's select this video and click on share and we'll be getting embed option. Simply click there. And here we can simply copy this. Okay, copy this code from here. And you can come here and we have to create a web view. So we'll be loading this inside a web view. So come here and let's create a web view. So here you can see that I have added a web view and it is having the ID web YouTube. Now you can go to the Java file and here let's create an object for web view. Let's come inside the own create and initialize the object. So now we have initialized the web view. So you can see this is the ID that we have used here. And then we can start loading the YouTube video. So let's paste the iframe that we copied into a variable string video data equal to and then we can paste the iframe here. So this is the iframe that we copied from the YouTube video. And here you can see that we are having the height and width like this. So let's change that to 100%. Simply change the width and height to 100%. That's it. And there is nothing else you have to do. Okay. And after that, you can come here. And now we have to enable JavaScript. So web view. Okay, let's go back. You have to give a semicolon after this. Okay. And then web view dot get settings dot set JavaScript enabled and set it to true. So that's it. Then we can set a web view client. So web view dot set. Let's set web view Chrome client. New web Chrome client. Now we can load the data. So web view dot load data and we can give the variable that is video data. So inside the video data, if you go to this function, you can see it is having three strings. So we have to pass three strings. So the first one is the video data. That is this one. Then we have to pass the type. So the type is text slash HTML. And then the next one is we have to set the encoding. So UTF 8. And that's it. Now we have to add the permission to access internet. So let's go to manifest and add the permission. Uses permission internet. Let's close it. Okay, that's it. Now we can try loading the application let's run it okay now you can see the app has launched and if you check you can see the video has also loaded in the iframe so let's play this so you can see the video is getting played so this is how you can load a youtube video inside your android application so hope you understand how to do this if you have any doubts Leave a comment below and I will respond to them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos.